by Masaru Emoto. The Chinese guy. You wanna hear some crazy shit though? That's probably what your book's been telling you about. Um, if you if you freeze water after sound waves, it like has a positive representation. Like if you expose water, nah, just hear me out. If you expose water to like Beethoven symphony, it's like a light, peaceful song. Imagine you have speakers around a cup of water in a freezer. It's not yet frozen. It's room temperature. The song is going to be playing, and it's going to make waves off the water, right? And when it reaches a point that it freezes, you look at it with a microscope and see what those vibrations and the shapes it makes in the form of water crystals when it freezes so it's like if you have beethoven symphony playing the shape it makes is very like uniform and geometrical almost hexagonal shape but if you have death metal it's like a very dark music edgy there's a lot more disorientation and there's no real crystallization that happens so it's like basically how we look at this and transfer it to life is we're humans we drink water we need water to live we're 70 percent made of water our organisms is and everything has vibrations when i'm speaking to you now you're going to make those are vibrations sound waves and they're going to make certain occurrences in your mind which is all addictive of water so it's like it's kind of weird, you know, but it all come together. So I like positivity. Be be a positive spirit. That's for discussion. Hard drugs. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Man, you can say that all you want, bro, but it's what I read. It's what I read. Well, you want to hear some crazy shit? Cool, <laughs> it's all um how we um perceive things our mind right an uplifting thing versus a um dark horrible thing it's all perception it's like um, everything has an effect on you it's bigger than just water, but it's like water. The idea of it. I actually want to try that now. So that's probably why fucking um, Christians have holy water. Feel the vibration. There's a C4 in your pack. One sec, remember. Hey, Jen. the front end like they back crashed into the back of someone exactly they're probably texting So what is it? Hey, Jenna. <laughs> now I was gonna say something about uh, 
They're only trying to devalue what you say in the distance of, you know what I'm saying, their bad culture. So, you know, that's what's fucked up about it. Well, P, I'm trying to tell you about this river in India right now. <laughs> Are you listening? Oh my god. Earth, Earth to P, are you there? <laughs> One sec. One sec. Wherever he's on, I want. I'm on the phone, Nick. I can hear y'all in the background, so I'm gonna chime in when the connection is faulty on my phone. Oh my god. That's perfect. C4. Hey, John, go on, stud your, your heights, bro, so we can help you get your, uh, What's the name? Who, who's black am I on right now? Oh, um, I'm just gonna call you Dunn because I don't know how to pronounce your thing. Um, yeah, this is C4 on your back. That's C4 on my back? Yeah, this is C4 on your back. What the fuck? You did? I'm just like... Oh. Wonder what happens if I press left on the D pad. I can get rid of it, watch. Hey, hey, Jenny. No. Jenny. You, you, what you, what you do is you go to switch to another character and you press circle and it'll make the C4 disappear. But you have to be like looking towards it, else it won't work. <sighs> My feet to come. <laughs> it's actually useful some when sometimes if you. How is this not obvious? <laughs> you can see it right off the road. Yeah. Yeah, the military's definitely not gonna find this. <laughs> it's so hidden, they put dirt on top of it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, however, however you wanna do it, you know, cause then it, it's like when you do pay it all in one, it kinda lowers the level of conclusion based on multiple events taking place. Multiple payments taking place. I've learned that when I have people do payments in the past, Oh my gosh, it's the boat from um, GTA 4 that you could do barrel rolls with and front flips. Can I drive your bike? Never mind. Oh god. Alright. Are you gonna try to sell your um narcotics? Yep. Let me uh park the bike. Yeah, it's some boo right there. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you, you ran out of the fuck. 
fucking run and stuff. Off to he, it's contagious. Yeah. How do you? Uh, yeah, I can customize my weapon a lot. Oh, melee weapons. Yeah. What about me? Hide all what? Say that, or my what do you mean hide all? Like oh, but she's good. What does it mean by hide and show? True. Yeah. Oh, okay, I understand now. So you so it makes it where you can get to the pistol you want faster. Pistols. Combat. A peep stay. 50. Uh, SMS. Vintage flare marks. Alright. Okay, Tone. Oh, sometimes this guy Nate likes to go on while he's driving. Fuck. It's not a bad thing, though. I'm sorry. Which one is it? Oh, yeah. Don't they like poop and pee in there and shit and bathe? Cause they'd probably be giving birth to people in that. Well, they said a person with less with a lead poisoning, you um kill um poison with poison. So they're saying what you do is if someone has lead poisoning, you got to um, basically distill the water and unlead it to like the trillionth ppm. But it's like instead of parts per million, it's parts per trillion. So it's like depending on how bad your blood lead level is, depends on how much you got to distill the water over time and they're saying like um um what's it called M medicines that are like um concentrated if you if you take that medicine and then you dilute it and then you drink it it's like less of a shock to the body because we water and shit so it just help it flow better but like when they dilute it and then they try and prove it in science it doesn't really show up as much so people don't really believe that it work so they just be feeding people pills and doing all sorts of shit when they really should like um do it more gradually
and dilute that shit. And think it acid, and then so they like actually feel different. Yeah, it's a psychological thing too. I mean, think about it. You think about it, and then your mind and your body is like water, pretty much. And then what you think about. You kind of just resonate within. So then it kind of almost becomes. I mean, think about it. Your brain thinks. Your mind and eyes have all the senses. When you die, you release, um, what's it called? That, um, that drug. It's all chemical reactions like endorphins, all that happiness. It's all vibes. It's all reactionary. So if you think what the fuck I was talking about with water and different music and vibrations ain't true, then you off a drug. <laughs> but hey, man, no disrespect. That's just, it's all relativity. It's kind of complex if you hit the surface of it. It's like all this cultural shit. It's just, I don't know. Everything has its effect. It's all good versus evil. Like the type of music you listen to. Um, and it's um, concepts. Like rap, I listen to rap. But talk about killing and shit, if you talking about drugs, if you talk about violence, if you talk about, you know, a lot of different shit, and so, to me, it's not fucking rocket science to think that the next man that listened to too much of that, or be in certain situations, is gonna think like that, it's just like, it's all relativity, bro, and the law of attraction is very real. But it's like, for me, you could choose to think on shit like that. Or you could choose to learn from it. First act on it. It's all just how it hits you. The brain is, is unique within its own because the perception is with within you. And what, what route you choose to go and what thinking patterns you have, have based on what you're experienced to. Like, if I'm experienced to all that bad shit, I might see it and be like, oh damn, I want to do that. Like, I want I want to kill someone, or I want to do that, or I want to take their money. But it's like... I want to do that. Or if you take it some other way, you'd be like, oh man, I don't want to do that. I want to learn from it, 
because that's not the way. They're just talking about their pain and what they've been through. So there's kind of two different sides to it. It's all up for interpretation. Everything is. That's what's amazing about everything. It's crazy to think that that ice really made patterns like that, though. That's weird as fuck. Do you think it's just a coincidence? Or do you think there's some sort of relativity to it? I love you. Wisdom. You fool. Right? And it sounded strange that I brought it up to culture and music and perception. It sounded very weird when I was describing it. Like, Pete, what the fuck are you talking about? But... It's all kind of true. I mean, you think about someone right next to you. You're kind of... You be with someone that you like. You know, like, if you have a C note on a piano, it's being played through the speakers at 440 hertz. If you slow it down, or speed it up times two, it's going to be a different tune, but when you play them together, it's kind of like two people singing at the same rate, or with the same voice. It's kind of like a resonant within itself, so it's like people get with things that are alike. If you're chilling with the person next to you and they got positive vibes, and you're just chilling with them and everything's kind of understood happy and normative and then someone else comes in the room right and then they have a bad mood like they have something different than you have in the moment all of a sudden since they come in talking about all these negative things now the lights kind of get darker in the room now your mind and irritability kind of goes up and then it's all like if you throw a rock into the water that's that negative person when they come into the room. It's like, they like, that's a very shocking thing. Right when it hits you, that's kind of when it splashes onto you. Like the current of the water moving outward from the rock, you know, that's the waves that it creates. That's the uh, vibrations it creates. But it's like, you're that rock wall. And when you throw your waves back to them, <laughs> back to the center point of rock, you know what I'm saying? How are how are you going to react? And how are you going to make it happen? Because everyone has its effect. You know, it's like water. Like straight up, when you throw a rock in the ocean, it moves outwardly. But when it goes off something, it comes back. So it's like, you talk to someone, they talk to you back. If you just talk to someone and then talk to someone, it's like you're talking at them. It's, it doesn't seem as much of a positive thing. It's like, do that versus let's do that. It's kind of two different things. It's like positive versus negative. If someone comes in the room off that, then you know how you should react, you know? Because if they act, you're going to react differently. You don't just have one choice to act how you feel, you know? If you're angry, you don't have to be angry. That's how I feel. But...
true, but in essence, you know what they need yeah. to make them happy. Like, I talk to you, you talk back to me. It's all emotional, like. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. So, uh, this guy around the party that I had to play with? Nah, I don't know. I just wanted to tell you guys about that shit. I didn't want to, like, go that deep into it, but you kept, you asked about, like, shit. You told me what you knew too, so I thought that was pretty cool. I felt like I had to share more. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Ah, uh, good shit, Dead Eye. Turns out you have to die one time when you get to the helicopter because it it's not 100% chance to spawn in the first uh way down there. So that's why I had, that's why. Yeah, one first time it won't happen. Second, third, fourth, it'll, it it has like a nine. It's like a it's like a 75, 25 chance. Yep. Hold on a second. Who's the other guy in the party? 